What's going on, everyone? Welcome to another episode of Non Fungible Guys. I'm your host Ryan, accompanied by all, always by Devon. Not going to do the the full name today, huh? Nope. It's been it's just been seven. No. What's the matter? You're already giggling. We just started. Oh man, man. I'm sorry. I got a lot on the brain today. Professional. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Uh, Devon C. Codrington. <laughs> That you added the C now. Yep. All um, right. Yeah, there Whatever. It is. <laughs> we'll just keep going. What's the podcast about? We do uh, crypt. We talk about crypto, the NFT space, NFTs themselves, and everything in between, and anything we feel like talking about. Good point. All right. Yeah. I'm alive. I'm ready. I'm here. Let's do this. You sure. Yes. Turn your dial up for your energy because it's, <laughs> it's a little low. <laughs> I hate when you and, say that shit. And man. he moved. <laughs> And he moved his hand like he was actually going to turn the <laughs> dial up. Because I thought you were going to—you were actually talking about volume. I'm like, oh, is that my load? And I'm like, wait a minute. You're not wearing headphones. I am. How would you even know that, you ass? Yep. <laughs> okay. So welcome. This is how our podcast yeah, usually pretty starts. Much. So if you're new, hopefully you're still here. I know. Right? <laughs> we'll get to the, the two, cut of everything soon. Three minutes in, or two minutes in, and they're like, oh, man, what is this even about? Yep. Well, we basically uh, stumble through the crypto world and uh, have a good time doing it. So, let's start with books. <laughs> what about books? We read them sometimes. <laughs> yes. Sometimes people borrow them and never return them. Sometimes it takes them twenty weeks to read a book that's three hundred pages long. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes. But did I say on, on on air? We never. We don't go back and listen to previous episodes usually for good measure because it's it makes me cringe and. And then I'm also like, that was wrong. That was wrong. But I swear we're a good source of information, or at least entertainment. But Ryan let me borrow um, Ready Player Two Yep. About f- five and a half months ago. <laughs> we'll just say sometime last year. Yeah, yeah, sometime last year. It Could was been in 2020. I don't even know anymore. It was, it's was. it been at least... March 2020 to now is like March 2020. <laughs> what are we in, like 2024 now because of COVID? <laughs> right, it's true. It's all... Time dilation. It's all, yeah, it's all blur. Um, but either way, I've had this book for at least five months now, and I read it. I finished it. Although I forgot to bring it back, so I'll bring it back, uh, you know, sometime... Next in, time you remember. In the, sometime in the summer. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. That's okay. <laughs> How did you enjoy it? Because I've been dying to talk about. I know, the, I know, and I don't even at, at this point I don't even remember half the end. I don't even. Remember, I know. I just want to talk about the one premise of what okay. came out of it. All right. right, let's let's. You know me. I love context setting and structure. And as annoying it is, here we go. So yes. this is a here's your spoiler warning. If you haven't read Ready Player Two, we're gonna spoil it for you. Okay, you've left the room. Great. <laughs> Wait, yeah. left the room. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> okay. turned us off. All right. So, um, just to give you the summary, like, you know, they're, they're stuck in the game. Anorak has, Anorak is dead, but his avatar lives on, which is a three, it just is a memory. His memory was wiped and made into a AI and it lives within the, the, uh, the game, which is essentially a metaverse, right? A series of metaverses and what we're building towards in real life. Yeah, exactly. And the thing is the, the meta Anorak's, I, uh, um, self-aware is self-aware and he wants to resurrect another um, self-aware AI that's contained in a box or whatever his partner's wife or whatever um, it doesn't matter why but he wants to do that and he knows he can't until he gets like a certain device in-game devices or whatever the shards yes and when he gets that then he can unlock something else that will bring this other AI to life and everyone like they'll actually live you know, as, as individuals that are sentient within the metaverse. And to do that, he doesn't have the capability. So he hijacks everyone and says, now anyone that's plugged into the metaverse, you can't unplug. And if you unplug, it doesn't reconnect your synaptic connection or something. And you have like a neural overload. But if you die without being properly ejected from the metaverse, then you die in real life. Yes, that's correct. So everyone's held hostage and they have to play the video game to satisfy this AI's wishes so he can resurrect his partner his ai girlfriend and all of that they battle a bunch of cliches like 80s flash throwbacks like back to the future hoverboards and they battle like prince and and a bunch of different i like that whole prince so that was a long chapter it was. Or like storyline i didn't was. mind it because i didn't really know a lot about prince so you learn a little bit i agree and i'm happy that that happened because i do remember when i was reading the first one i was like so caught up in the world and i was like this is amazing this is really cool and then the second this second version i was like okay the, 80 ref- the 80s references are getting old for me. You know, like I've already read the first book and I was like getting kind of frustrated with it. And I was like, some of them I'm not knowing because they're becoming more ingrained. And, and then when it started talking about like Prince and some other people, I was like, this is actually cool because I didn't know any of that stuff. Yeah, so none of that stuff. I, it was like, really cool. I knew of Prince. 
and like yeah, well, my parents listen purple to rain like, yeah you know but, purple rain yeah exactly yeah. like the main Dave things. Chappelle skits yeah yeah <laughs> F your couch. <laughs> that's that's Rick. Oh no, yeah. that's Rick James. Yeah, yeah. Dave, but it doesn't matter. Dave Chappelle, whatever. It's when he's playing basketball. Yes. shirts versus and blouses. He's <laughs> in the heels or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and he dunked on him. Yeah, it's amazing. <laughs> okay, you guys go to watch Chappelle show from way back. Anyways, um, let's talk about what we're actually talking about. What's crazy is the reveal at the end. Do you remember it? I'll, I'll just because I just read it recently last week. Obviously, I do remember it. The premise for me, it's the premise. Of yeah, yeah. Basically, every time somebody was putting on the headset that they had created for the book, like well, for this new iteration of it, yeah. Instead of like VR goggles, it was actually taking. It was like nodes or whatever on your yeah. head. It was like a thing on your head, but yeah. it was downloading your consciousness. It was so yeah, because in the in the book in Ready Player Two, this version that they were in was a fully immersive metaverse where you're wearing like a haptic suit. Well, you're not wearing a suit. It just connects to your neurons. So you, you, you touch something, you feel it. Yeah, yeah exactly. So you're really in there. And it, what it was doing was taking a scan of your brain and saving it on those servers. So in the end at the book, that reveal was pretty amazing because the whole time you thought the story that you were here at reading was... The, the love story. The love and story. And, and the, Yeah, and you thought it was being told by the main character who was obviously in Ready Player One. But you find out Wade, Phil, Wade Watts. Wade Watts. Yeah, yeah, nice. Oh, yeah, good for you. Well, it is your book. Yes, mine, mine as well. Hours, <laughs> <Okay>. hours. <laughs> or there could be two versions. Oh, anyway. So, <clears throat> turns out the whole book is being told to you by Wade Watts's AI. So his yeah. brain has been scanned multiple times, and a scan of his brain is sentient and lives in the metaverse while he can also be in the metaverse but also in the real world so there's two versions of him and one is permanently in the metaverse because it's obviously the ai's yes you know creation right and the thing is in real life the real wade watts had one ready player one the first book so he was super rich billionaire advanced technology blah 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 so they built a spaceship in real life yeah and blasted that spaceship off into space with like Xenobytes of like storage and backups upon backups of solid state drives and all that stuff. They're basically going to save, recreate Re- Earth somewhere yeah, else exactly. using this spaceship because they had all the money in the world, basically. But the thing is, the spaceship is basically no one is alive on the spaceship. It's just hard drives, and all those hard drives create contain the brain scans. So everyone in the spaceship, the spaceship is just running a metaverse, and everyone that's a al- lot that is all the AIs are in the metaverse. In the spaceship. And if they need to interact with the spaceship, the spaceship isn't connected to the metaverse. They have bots, like telebots is what they call them. But they're basically robots that are connected to the metaverse. So the AI in the metaverse controls a robot in the real world that's in the spaceship and will like fly it or adjust it where they need to go. Which also means if that spaceship has to travel for like a thousand years, it can. Yeah, because it's powered. The, the the metaverse is powered by solar power, and you know, so it's like you live forever too. Those humans living in the metaverse are living forever in space, looking for a new Earth on a spaceship that's like controlled by robots. Controlled by robots, but it's but con- it's also controlled by the AI yeah. in the computers. Yeah, and you <laughs> and you get this story at the end, like the whole time you think you're just interacting with the the real person. Well, ooh, that's that's dangerous language. Yes. what's real and what's not i mean if he's sentient or if they are sentient because wade watts is now a pansexual individual <laughs> he starts, yep. which is pretty cool the book was really progressive so i don't know anyway I, I loved it i remember reading it going yeah. holy crap like the thought of like you didn't even think oh the world's ending and all this stuff and yeah then all of a sudden it's like holy shit this whole time he's been uploading his own conscience like yeah the thought process of it i i just loved it that was pretty cool yeah a lot of things made you think about today like because yes. their world was ending yep and like they were like we don't know what we're gonna do so let's send digital copies of us into space to live forever and they communicate so he emails himself every now and then which is crazy and knowing his human <laughs> self is gonna perish. Yeah. So and when then his yeah. AI self is like, okay, I got this from here. Right. It takes all, like it's how crazy takes over. is that? And he married in the metaverse the same chick that he married in real life. That would have been uh, don't uh, she had a name. You know it's crazy. I don't remember H, her name. H was his friend. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> damn, I forget her name. I finished this last week, and I've been reading this book for five months, and I forget the. The, his wife's name <laughs> yeah i really don't remember it'll come to me in a minute but 
that you know what that that heavily relates to the crypto crypto the crypto <laughs> heavily relates to you you're selling the bitcoin heavily relates to the bitcoin so yeah it definitely interacts with like the blockchain like i mean that whole universe that they're in traveling around fighting all the 80s theme yeah like, that's literally just metaverse like the way i look at it is it, to sum it up with our world now is like each world that they travel to or like mm -hmm. prince's island or whatever yeah, the hell pyramid, like it, his pyramids his yeah that was cool that was all like that's all different metaverses on different blockchains yeah and they use portals to transport the same way that pavia has is saying they're gonna have portals to interact with other metaverses yep so like same infrastructure just in its infancy right now in the arty real world artemis artemis yeah artemis. artemis you're right nice 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 okay so uh, i finished the book and congratulations what should I read next? <laughs> this is Devon's uh, book club. It's just him. Yeah, could you? Well, yeah. Just, why am I speaking to myself in third person? <laughs> I don't know. I haven't had anything to any right. good to read lately. Actually, I do have a book, but I, it's not to do with a crypto or the space or anything. Oh. It's the Warded Man series. Warded as in like um, symbols, like a ward. Oh. It's kind of sci fi. Well, it is sci fi ish because there's magic, but like that's as far. Hmm. Mm, doesn't pique my interest my friend i, think I didn't probably... think it, i didn't think it would mine either but i it's like six books but i'm it... probably gonna read something by andy weir um fair enough he, i think he did the martian and uh, anyways you know what we're getting let's talk about <laughs> back to crypto back to crypto speaking of the world um you know being in a different state we can't ignore the fact of what's what's happening uh, I'm not going to state my stance on the conflict in between the Ukraine and Russia and all the other individuals involved, NATO, the U.S., Canada, everyone else. But um, more importantly, as as related to us anyways, there are like there's a lot of support being poured into Ukraine and it's from it's in the place of crypto because you can't just like send U.S. dollars to, you no. know. And it's it's not necessarily to support Ukraine. It's used to support like the Ukrainian people, right? Yeah, and this and is, you, is it also? No, I'm glad you Ukraine? said that because so it's funny. In doing research about this, I was seeing articles about saying these. This is being sent to su to support people. Like people are sending people wallets, Bitcoin directly. Yeah. But then there's people selling, sending, like there's um a, a Ukraine or a NATO based. I think it's a Ukraine army focused crypto current or effort called come back alive okay. and they are accepting bitcoin to give directly to the ukrainian soldiers but there's a ton of um people sending bitcoin to russia as well so mm. like it's de it's decentralized it's, it's crypto it's going right. to go everywhere you know so a lot of it basically is moving that way and i think the conflict's like what the 10 days old or a week old now and i mean in terms of since russia's since it started since russia's invaded yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and they're saying the numbers I've seen has been, well, of course you're going to see different numbers, but I've seen like 30 million, 50 million. I think that one, you the big Ukrainian one that first started, I think it got up to 20 million last I saw. Yeah. And it, it was, was like 20 mil, but that was like in three days. Yeah. Yeah. It, which is pretty wild. Which I'm sure I haven't looked at. It's way <clears throat> past that, but like I've yeah. been seeing, there's been a ton of Cardano projects. I think Wraith was one of them. Yeah. Um, Veggie mates, uh, zones there was a and zones is on ethereum but there was a bunch of different projects that were um just hey we're gonna do this collection everything minted from it half of it or the whole price will all go to the ukrainian fund i think it was mostly ukrainian stuff i didn't mm -hmm. see anything within the <clears throat> nft space that was going to russia i wouldn't i wouldn't expect to see that here in canada you know what i mean yeah i wouldn't expect to see that overtly like i don't think people are going to be like I support Russia. Like, there's people burning the Russian passports in the streets. Like, yeah. Like a friend of mine, he's like, he was like, "Does anyone have news connections? I want to burn my passport." And I was like, "Okay, cool." And, yeah, yeah. Anyways, no, no stance on that. Just kind of talking about but it, what it's we've seen happen. It's amazing to see. I guess the people that are in the basically crypto and NFT, like they all came together and started supporting and and minting and donating and like even projects were saying oh we mint this we'll don donate this and then we'll match it mm -hmm. so they'll double up and throw their own money like people uh Cry crypto dinos was doing one for the ukrainian mm, yeah, people. Nice. so i mean a lot of projects that we we circle around and we watch and we're not necessarily very active in there but a lot of people a lot of people are helping out and it's yeah. good to see that's cool yeah it's, it's just you know what this is 
cryptocurrency has removed the inter the need for any sort of intermediary or any sort of funds being stripped away to allow for the for the moving of funds you don't have to worry about usd being sent to support an effort it can just be sent it's it's like it's like affiliation agnostic there's no affiliation with any country or co like the money the the currency that's being sent is just is just decentralized no one owns it which is why it's kind of perfect for this kind of situation yeah so very yeah, true. pretty crazy, pretty, pretty powerful stuff. <clears throat> yep. I mean, yeah, I'm not going to. Yeah, we'll, 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 we'll leave it there. We'll leave it there. So, solid. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So what have you, I mean, I've been kind of active a bit this mm. week and a bit of last week minting and, and moving some stuff around, but have you been, been able to do anything? This has been, as I was saying to you before, this has been, oh yeah, like this is our question. Our signature questions, y'all. What have you been up what to? What have you been up to? What did you do this week? I have never answered this yet in the, the history of our 27 episodes. I have done nothing crypto related. No movement, no purchasing. That's not even true, actually. <laughs> I just can't talk about one of the things, the projects that I'm, one of the projects that I'm involved with. But outside of that, nothing, which is crazy. I feel like I don't even know what's going on. Like four days, five days not following crypto and I'm, I'm lost. So I, I said that to, um, who was I talking to in properties about that? Mecca. She's like, oh, I've been off, I've been off of Discord for a couple of weeks. And I'm like, yeah. I've been weeks? Just, yeah, a couple of weeks. <laughs> Holy She's, crap. She kind of just been, I guess, real life stuff. And yeah, yeah. I think she lives somewhere in the Philippines. Okay. Um, But she was saying, yeah, it's been a couple of weeks. And it's like, she's like, I'm lost. Yeah. I'm yeah. like, I take a weekend off sometimes. We, and it's like, yeah, I take exactly. a year off. It's been four or five days for me. And I feel like, I'm like, what's that app again? What we use? It's yeah. like Discord. Right, right. Okay. We'll figure this out. Like, Yeah, it's crazy. Uh, I've been active. I mean, nice. we could talk about some different projects. Um, I minted in the last few days, I minted a Lurkers uh, CNFT. Okay. Don't even know what that is. Never heard of it. I'm not even fit to co-host. <laughs> <laughs> well, sh I'll throw up some pictures of this stuff, and, right. and we can do links. Um, Toxica, I think that's how you say it. It's toxic with an A, which is it's, that's Toxica, yeah, yeah. right? Don't know what it is. Never heard of it. <laughs> so I, I minted the movie trailer. So it's actually a, uh, a full-length feature film that oh, they're going to cool. release on Cardano blockchain. Oh, this so, sounds cool. Yeah, like, so actually. they were minting their trailer. For I want to say twenty eight. I think they just closed it on this Monday. Whoa! What rewind? So yeah, they have a movie. Yep. So to see the trailer, you've got to mint it. Yes. Wow! This is a great fucking concept. And then, do you know anything about what the movie's about other than the trailer? Like, does the website have like a premise? Like, what's yeah? The yeah, the what's website the, you can go in their Discord. What's the genre? The genre is uh, I think it's sci fi action. Nice. Um, this I, is cool. Yes. I didn't expect you to ask questions about it. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You threw me off. He's like, uh, did, I knew you didn't know shit about it, so I thought I could just skate by with the concept, but I'm like... 100%. What's the movie about? Who directed it? Who's, this, uh, <laughs> who's the cinematographer? Yeah. Where is it? Here? Where is okay, it being hold released? Hold <laughs> yeah, this is this is a great idea, though. It's great. No, it, I thought it was a good idea. I'm pretty sure it's a sci-fi thriller, actually. Same thing, I mm. guess. But it's about a chick... Uh, oh, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> see him he's shaking his head he's like he's like fuck this guy yeah because you know what they're you have i know you have your notes and shit now i'm making you move around and i'm looking for stuff. their faq sweet Dope. or the roadmap or their something the roadmap the road make map. film like well, how hard's the roadmap ryan <laughs> not that hard <laughs> make the film anyways yeah. all right sorry but it's yes it's a movie i think yeah. there's a female lead um i should have done more homework but thank you to <laughs> for sorry exposing me sorry not sorry but yeah, so I minted their uh, their trailer. And oh, that's it, cool. It gave so I guess getting the trailer opened up some other things for you. They yeah. haven't released a lot of information, um, but so I'm hoping to, you know. I guess you may be minting the movie when it comes out. Yeah, that's um, pretty cool. So I guess I think, like, that's your version, right? Yeah, because if they, you wanted to have the movie, sure you could watch it. Like, if you were releasing a movie, you'd have to like pay for it on YouTube or however they distribute it, right? right. But if you mint the NFT. Holy crap, I'm just really taking it in now because movie distribution is hard. Like distribution overseas and all that stuff. There's so many middlemen. They mark up middle people, yeah. middle companies. They mark up prices. Um, you might have to edit your movie highly for different, uh, different um, 
sect districts or sectors or whatever they call them different markets well, china china yeah, yeah like, china like wants you to cut out everything everything bad, yeah. yeah and they'll be like make a different edit because yeah, yeah. it has to you know be even marvel caves to china yeah because the market's huge like we think we're the shit over here but like there's way more people over there and like that's where the the eyeballs are and eyeballs equal money but like that if if you're minting a movie and you can pay for just marketing then you get all that money yourself that's the different filmmaker right. that's cool i mean like there it is when people are like i don't get nfts what's the utility as, right I was, as i was explaining to someone it's not about the specific utility for that one project it's about any sort of application get that can provide like um something that's unique to an individual and provides ownership mm-hmm. apply that to whatever you will and yeah. boom there you go something all sorts like, of independent artists whether it's music yeah. movies comics i'm a sucker for anything comic or like cartoonish stuff like mm, yeah I'm you totally sucker. are and I, for zombies zo- yeah zombies for sure but um yeah so i'm just curious like once i mint the movie am i allowed to do whatever i want with it you should be like that's how nfts work with rights right, right? but i mean this is a movie and but like could i take it and then upload it to a website my website or something like how do, i'm curious how the yeah because like when you get artwork yeah they say you have the complete rights. You exactly. don't need to ask me. You own that artwork. Everything NFTs need- is complete ownership once you buy it, once yeah. you mint it. So, but here's the, but the thing is with movies, every play provides royalties. So like, sure, the smart no, contract. Every sale. Every every when you sale. Sale, right? Yeah. I don't think you can. Well, every play. If you're on if a platform can- like Netflix. Right, that every every time you press play, the yeah. royalties are calculated and disseminated to the crew and all that shit to the production company. But if you own the DVD, like the royalties stop there, right? Like you do what you want with it, but you can't throw it up on your website because I guess eventually if someone finds it, they'll pull it down. But you can build royalties into the smart contract, right? And which everyone does. But but like, I guess the only way to really make this work is if the movie's dope and people want to see it, and you're like, hey, go to this. You would have to be like, go to my wallet, or like, you, you know what I mean? How do you I get allowed, someone to see it? Well, here's the other thing. Am I allowed to hold an event at a bar and be like, come, I want to show you this movie I minted as an NFT and charge people money that... I feel like, like technically, would I get technically, in trouble for that? I feel like technically, if you're minting the NFT and the NFT is a movie, then you can do whatever you want with it within your capacity. Well, I guess we'll find out yeah, either way. But I feel like if you if you have it and you've minted it and it's yours and then you sell it, then I, I imagine in that smart contract, there's a royalty built into the owner. What, yeah. what blockchain is this on? Cardano. Do you think they impl- used the smart contract yeah, for that? Yeah, of course. Everyone, everyone does now. Going forward now yeah. is probably smart contracts. Well, then, yeah. I don't know. It's cool. It's yeah, it's a cool concept. And I was like, you know what? Just like um, with Sam Catman. Oh, yeah. Nice. Like independent artist. Shout out uh, to Sam Catman. He's doing some actual big things. Um, I don't know if he's announced it yet, so mm-hmm. I don't want to announce it. He's been... Oh, shoot. I have to get back to him. I just remembered you showed me something. And I was like, this is cool, but I forgot to respond. Yes. Yeah, so Sorry, that, cat man. Sam. Sam. I don't know. Remember what... Uh, is, is he a cat? Is he a it's person? A he. Is it Remember a he said he? he's is a they? Yeah, we didn't really know because everything was a cat. And I was like, I don't yeah. even know your gender or... Not that it matters, but I don't even know what species you are. Ooh, good question. Person. What kind of type of cat? Like, what type of cat is? Yeah, he? and is it a cat? Is it a person? Like, what's what's really going on here? Is he cats a... are smart, so who knows? <laughs> they could be well, using blockchain. Keep an eye out at Sam Catman. <laughs> uh, I think the website's what samcatman dot I think it was. But uh, either way, you can look yeah. it up. Sam, Google we Sam Catman. Yeah, tweet it out. Um, Sam Catman NFT. I'm sure something will pop up somewhere. Um, and uh, yeah, get on his. Uh, Get on his NFTs and start supporting artists. Go to Toxica's Discord or Twitter and start supporting them. So it's fun to... Um, I like supporting... So another another NFT project on Cardano that I had through Nomi's, I minted a seed. And that got me the Tree of Life role, which gave me the opportunity to get into another project by the... The guy that took over for Nomi's. Jeff, 4-5? Je- yeah. 4-5 Jeff. So he's doing his own project cool. called Overexposed. So I was able to get onto the whitelist for that, which had a bunch of hype. They went on, I think it was Cardano Thor's Twitch mm. to release the Discord invite. And apparently it was just like craziness in their chat during the, the tr- st- what is it Twitch stream. Mm. 
But um, so it was a hundred ADA to mint the overexposed Genesis token. And I guess he four or five Jeff. This is his own NFT project that he's built from the ground up with his team, I guess, or he's part of a team. And uh, they brought over this amazing artist, Ren Ellis, from I think he was on Ethereum, but he's like digital and digital art and filmmaking and all about cameras and stuff. So there's a lot of hype behind the project. The artwork is sick. Guess what my dumbass did? Um, I feel like you, you know, when I think about this, not knowing, I feel like you, you, you wouldn't do something dumb, like send the wrong wallet or send the wrong amount. You probably just missed the mint or something. I, that's usually, yeah. that's the only thing yes. that ha- That's the only thing that can yes. happen. Really. So it was 24 You're hours. A pro, of mint. So you should just miss the mint. It was 108. And I'm like, okay, putting the kid down for a bed. Mm. And I'm like, okay, I got till March 1st. Okay. Let me go look. It's February 28th. Yeah. Let me go look and see so if, it's, if I can di- mint. Half a day. Or, yeah. I go right into the Discord and I see people going mint over. I'm like, wait, <laughs> wait a minute. I'm like, it's not March 1st yet. Right. My dumbass forgot to look at the time zone. It was March 1st UTC. <laughs> Everything is UTC, right? I know. But I saw March 1st thinking, oh, oh it's, seven, it's like 725, 730. Yeah. It, it, was, it was 7 p.m. Eastern time for right. us. Well, it was like midnight 12 yeah. UTC. So I missed it by like 20 minutes. Wow. That sucks. Oh, it How was, is that project uh, it hurt. doing now? You want to know what the floor price is? Yeah, the way you're talking about it makes me uh, think that you missed a great opportunity. Even if I was to just flip it right out of the gate, like the next day, I, I just happened to go on. I'm like, man, I'm so butthurt. I'm such an idiot. Mm. I'm so dumb. It's, so like, I'm only it mad out. at myself. Yeah, yeah. But I'm like, let me go look at JPEG store. Mm. <sighs> 650 ADA. Wow. Price. That's... You know what it is the, right now? The, oh, show that. I thought that was the price now. Nope. What is it? 950. Oh, wow. What's <laughs> the price of ADA right now? It looks like you just would have made a cool $800 and you screwed yeah, let's, up. let's keep <laughs> hashing it over. I almost feel as bad as you probably did when you said Why are you money? talking about this? Right. That was like 12... <laughs> That was like, wait, I can't even say 12. That was like 20 episodes ago. I'm you down with me. Well, like, Ada went up. What is it? 112. Oh. Canadian. But still, yeah. So I missed out on a, a yeah. hyped project. And even if I, I probably wouldn't have flipped it right away, but 900 Ada is like, that's a lot. Yeah, that's pass up. That's nine hundred bucks now. Yeah, so with your hundred that you put in, it's you know you would have come out with like at yeah, least it's a nice chunk of change to like, eight hundred dollar profit. Yes, yeah, so. buy yourself some AirPod Maxes. <sighs> no, I have AirPod Pros that I just bought. So okay, but the sound quality is that much better. I guess from what I hear, yeah. But anyways, <laughs> shout out to the team over at Over Overexposed. Like they. They had some serious hype behind them. What's the and project look like? What describe that to me? I haven't even looked at it. So like, what is? See, every time he catches, oh, no, I'm kidding. You didn't catch me this time. <laughs> you know, you were gonna mint it. No, no, I know. They um, let me go to. I'm guessing I have to go to. Do, 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 just do. I didn't have it set up. Just Where describe it what it is. It's like cameras. Oh, like, I saw that. That mine was look, a 35. Looks, like if you yeah, go on yeah. their their Twitter and you check out the promo video that the, yeah, the yeah, guy yeah. coming up and he walk he's walking. I with saw the gun that. That was so cool. Kodak that, film. Yeah, yeah. I watched that three times. <laughs> I watched it like four or five times, and then the like Cardano li- logo lights up. Yeah, that was so cool. And that's that all that artist Ren Ellis, I think. Shit, that's the stuff he's doing. Let me ask you a question. Yes, I'm pissed. I missed it. No. Did you tell me to mint this? Did you tell me you were going to mint this? Or did no, you hold because out, it was friend? so quick. Oh, oh, yeah. Okay. That's cool. You're right. I didn't tell no, the No, no. It's fine. We I got didn't that tell on the air. committee. Yeah, no. It's fine. It's cool. Guys trying to make gains without us. No, Bob. No big deal. Yes. This time I did not. I apologize. Oh. If all this stuff wasn't in front of me, I'd come over and give you a little I'm hug. glad all this stuff is here. <clears throat> Let's move on. Hey, everybody. Podcast is over. Uh, Ryan and I are no longer friends. Thanks. It's been a it's been a wonderful ride. See how sad, sad he sounds. <laughs> I mean, my life's going to continue. <laughs> what what I would have shared some of it with it's you. It's on. Honestly, it's completely fine. Like, I just want for the record, we're, we're joking. It's fine. Yes. But every person for them for themselves. No, it's not. I'm a team. team yeah, player. I know. I, I say that, but I'm like at the same time, I'm like we're not. No, I'm a but, team player. I just don't, literally no, was it's moving fine. so it's, quick. I honestly, this week, even if you had told me that, I would not have been able to capitalize on it because I was just swamped and did nothing well there you go so yeah there's many that i missed that that we don't that 
I have time to to grab. So fair enough. That's okay. Well, either way, I want to get some that of the sucks. overexposed guys. Yeah, on. they look really cool. I want to get four or five Jeff on. I've been hounding him on uh, Discord. Yeah, you know so. what? Let's pause for a minute. We've talked to four or five Jeff a number of times. We should have him on. We're gonna have him four on. four or five Jeff. This is your public invitation. Really, I think it's just a scheduling thing. We just probably need I to think so. schedule him properly. Guy's in like 200 discords. So yeah. Like he's, and he's, he took over Nomi's. He's now right. doing his overexpose. And he's in so many other projects. So he's a busy dude. So yeah. I'll, I'll cut him some slack. But, okay. But no, again, no more public- slack. It's over. We've, we've talked, to him, talked about him too much. Jeff, get your butt on this podcast. Done deal. And then we'll have, we'll got to get Ren out. Ellis. I like the guy's. Yeah, that'd be just that cool. video. I just want to talk. I'll just talk about that that that's one cool. yeah. freaking thirty-five second video. <laughs> that's cool. But uh, yeah, so okay. uh, I feel like you've three. talked about so much stuff. What do I have? Well, you said you didn't do anything, so I figured. Okay, I'd well, just wait, take wait, wait. Over. I'll, I'll you take over the interviews. I'll take over the fun <laughs> stuff. Okay, true. Because <laughs> I have nothing to talk about that I did. I'm just talking about cool things I saw, which is barely anything right now. I could rub a little salt in your wound. Please do. I didn't tell you about overexposed, and then I also won a couple giveaways. <laughs> Okay. Burns Burns isn't the only one it's winning. It's been a out. great just, week for you. <laughs> it has been a good week. Keep keep going, my friend. So what happened? In the lurk so I minted the lurker. Um and they were they have a contest in you know uh Rumble Royal or whatever Rumble they have. Rumble Royale. Yeah, in um Discord servers. Yes. It's like a it's a, a game bot. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I guess it, I just happened to stumble across when I was in the lurkers. They're like, Oh, we're gonna start this rumble in like five minutes. Is that more the the pictogram one where you're picking the scene? No, the that's and you're... um Gartic. Gartic, right. What's uh, this what's this? Rumble's one the one where it's like, Oh, you were killed by a cucumber. Someone stabbed you with a cucumber. Oh, that yeah, one, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's a little violent. Everyone dying. It's like a big be- de- uh, death battle. But so they were having the contest where I guess the winner, whoever won, ended up getting to pick a prize out of like a. They had like a screenshot of like twenty different like projects that yeah. they had in a wallet. So I clicked it and then I went to put the kid to bed. And I was like, oh, yeah, I got to go back. I went and popped on Discord. And I was like, oh, why am I all highlighted everywhere? And I'm like, oh, shit. Yeah, that's cool. I won the Rumble. So nice. I ended up getting uh, – They, I ended up picking – I didn't know a lot of the stuff there. But uh, I ended up picking a Raging Red. He had a, I just wanted it because he had a freaking um, – what's the salad – strainer thingy um solid strainer it, no yeah i guess a strainer as a hat do you mean the, like the actual word for like the metal term? wind yeah i don't know colander colander yeah nice. he had a colander <laughs> on his head. that's exactly what i was thinking of <laughs> see that's why we worked too well together. oh man <laughs> and then the other giveaway was i think uh veggie mates was they're ending their delegator um they had a de- steak pool and I think they were ending it. Mm-hmm. So they were giving like, hey, we're going to do a couple, th- three giveaways to end the end the delegator. So I ended up entering and I won 58. Nice. So shout out to Veggie Mates and good. Everything's happening. That everything project good? has been good yeah. for you. It's been so it's, good. It's, well, for the both of us too, even with their farmer's market yeah. way back, that was pretty great. And of course, I look at my Twitter right now on my laptop and who is it? DA Sales. So shout, oh, out, yeah, like, nice, nice. shout out to you again, man, because he was the one that like welcomed me into the DA community. Sales. And now, yeah, that's cool. Um, what else? Oh, we haven't even talked. I minted as we were. Oh, right, yeah, recording. Okay, so if you uh, first time listener, but a long time friend or whatever, I don't know. what I'm trying to say. Often I'll try to be like, I'm buying this online. I've, actually, I haven't done that in a while. Where I'll just like mint something on the spot, but. I think this time we're going to pass the uh, the reins to Ryan. Yeah, I should be doing pull- a lot of this. I pulled the trigger to this. You're, you're the guy now, man. Like, I'm just, I'm the co-host. Well, we're always the co-host. doesn't matter. It's fine. There's no hierarchy. Here. All right. Uh, you stop talking. I'll take over. No, yeah, go, no, go <laughs> no, ahead. No. It's your so I found out earlier today about uh, Retro Sound NFT. It's on Cardano. Yeah, I like this one. And I didn't realize, but it's like 500 different sounds i didn't delve too deep into the project i mm-hmm. just liked the look of its cassette tapes and i guess they have 500 different sounds or mute like it's music sound bites, yeah sound bites there you go um so i went ahead and minted one and i just got my i just it just came in i guess am i allowed to play the music on it because you can't. You know what? Don't even play. I'll just um, drop it in. You'll in, just drop in it in right here. Okay. Yeah. So, start playing it now. It's only about what fifteen seconds now. All right. And play. Sweet. 
Sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> knock, knock, knocking on your... No, but... um, Yeah, so I got that, and then I think I looked up the rank while you were talking about Ready Player One, and I got rank 181 out of 5,000. Nice. So not bad. What do you... Will you... Is that corresponding to the rarity of your NFT as well, or is that just your... What kind of perk will you get from that? Uh, I Again... I aped into the project. I nice, just, nice. I heard. I think I was listening to F thirty five or podcast over the week, and they were talking about it. And they were saying how it's just like fun music that like you could just. They actually, I actually went into the retro sound NFT, and they have like a twenty four seven just stream of stream of chill music. Chill. What's that? Chill step or no? We it was beyond rockets. Beyond rockets. What, yeah. What's that genre called? A chill wave or whatever. Yeah, I don't know, something like so, that. So mellow, perfect so, for working at a coffee shop. I'm actually going to jump in their Discord tomorrow, and I'm just going to throw it on and get some work done on an, uh, some projects we've been working on. Nice. But keep it on in the background. But the only thing that disappointed me, I know I aped into the project, yeah. so I should have read around, it's all right. is That's that my NFT take. sound, it's on a loop, but it's only 15 seconds. Right. Uh, my... I, my assumption was that it was like a minute long or minute. It was like a song. Yeah, like because like, the last one we had were full songs. Were like yeah, the two, Beyond Rocket minutes. was a full album. Yeah, that was great. So I thought maybe I was jumping into that, but that's what happens when you ape in and don't do your research, right? Mm. I got lucky and got a, a pretty good ranked one. So mm. there's that. So wait, what's your what's your strategy for this? Are you going to keep it and just have know. some low file? That lo-fi beat playing on a poor loop. I'm sorry, <laughs> the loop isn't 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 100 crisp. But re- re- regardless, are you gonna flip? You're gonna keep for the novelty I might of it, like flip. But think? I think the the floor price is below what I minted for. So <laughs> I guess I'm gonna I guess it's I'll a, do my research now and see what the <laughs> if there's utility, what the plan is with the project. This yeah. is what happens when you ape in. I might just have yeah. a 15 I mean, second it looks sound bite. Cool though. I love I love the way the NFT looks. I yeah, mean, it's the, like it's the actually tape and the way it's spinning. Like it's awesome. Yeah, it's a cassette tape, and for those kids, <laughs> for probably the kids listening, it's those weird things that you put into a... Yeah. Like, how do you even explain it? You used to have to use a pencil it's, to it's rewind? A, yeah, it's like a, it's like a VC... It's like a VC... A, a tape that goes into a VCR, but shrunk. And, uh, yeah, it looks cool. So... <laughs> if you know hip-hop music, regardless of when you started listening to it, you're probably aware of what it looks like. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Um, Dope. And the last thing I'll talk about is... Crypto Boutique. Nice. Again, I love this damn project. <laughs> they just released their, I guess you would say their lore. It was like the Chronicles of Moon Lake. And right. Moon Lake's like their town that the family lives in. So they released their Chronicles of that. So they're like their storyline of how it got started. And then they're currently running a logo contest oh, for the next. Cool. Yeah. yeah. So what they're going to do is they're, everyone's going to submit their logos for the card. So they already have Crypto Boutique's logo. Now the contest is for um, the Cardanos themselves. So everyone go to their Discord and like s- just take a look. The Cardanos around. as in like the, the family the characters. Yeah, so you could just do the name. Okay. Maybe you incorporate pictures of the family. It's like whatever you want to do. It's like basically the Cardanos logo. Is gotcha. What, so, but the winner ends up getting 50 ADA. Mm-hmm. And they're going to get the logo minted as an NFT by the team. You're going to win, buddy. Look at the week you've had. Keep that streak going. I should, eh? You really should. Create a logo. But I'm like, I'm, I'm involved with the team. Oh, you cannot win at all. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm a moderator. That's a high I'm a moderator. Yes. Yeah. I'm a moderator <laughs> in the I Discord. Was, if but... I were in that Discord, which I think I said I was going to join, I'd be like, this is fixed. I'm threatened. Threaten to expose the. Corruption. I'm gonna. I'm gonna try and come. I'm not art. I have no digital art, artwork skills at all. But I'm gonna try and come up with something and as like inspiration for people. Or are you gonna throw it in the hat? And try no, I'll, I'll just throw it into the channel that they have open for people to submit their logos. Okay, and you'll be like, "Hey guys, I'm the judge in this project, and I've submitted this. I think it's pretty good. Good luck." Is that your? Pro- that you're. Gonna- I'm just just gives inspiration. <laughs> Okay. That's Look fine. how bad this is. Try and do better. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> All right. You heard it here first, everybody. Ryan's going to. Sh- I'm going to write Ryan's- the Cardanos on a piece of paper <laughs> and then take a picture of it. <laughs> he's running a contest and he's probably going to select himself as the winner. That's the. That's how no, I don't think I have the voting right. I think it's the the three founders of no, the that's project. Cool. That's cool. I, I'm just running the contest in a sense. But no. yeah, go ahead over there, check it out. I'll show them. I love the project. I know you do. I've, I haven't seen you this passionate about a project in a in a Properties. while. Like you Properties love, you was love this project so much, and it, I, you know what? I think I've done you a disservice because I haven't even bought their 
Cardano's the past, Club One Hundred One card, card yeah. which is like their pre. Yeah, yeah. I haven't even gotten that. I haven't done anything with this project. So, well, I'll jump on in it, man. <sighs> They're still minting the Club One Hundred One. Yes, I think I should. I think I should. But I don't know. It's just fun. It's just like a. It's all about a family and you know, dog, brother, sister. Like mom, you see dad. yourself like, in it. It's you. It's it, yeah, yeah. I get it's it. Relatable too. But there's so many avenues that you could run with it. You could do animated shorts. You could do books. You that's could true. Do, like there's so many, and they want to gear it towards teaching kids the code. Right. Yes. Like yeah. that's that's one sense. of their their on their roadmap. They want to teach kids to how to code and have fun with it. Right? Yeah. Each, so, any one of those characters can become the next Clippy. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Good old Clippy. Okay. All right. Um, <laughs> sorry, okay, sorry. I'm done talking. I feel like an asshole because you're talking so great about it, and I just keep at making the end, jokes. I'm just like, yeah, it's gonna but be that's, Clippy. <laughs> but that's basically what I do all the time. So. That's true. So this is how you hang out. This is fun. Yeah, it is. It's a great space. That you just <laughs> you just make fun of. Everything. I just figured it out. Wow, you cracked the code a long time ago. <laughs> yeah. This whole time I've been over in the corner sweating, making notes, and doing a bunch of stuff, and you're just sitting there and being like, yeah, that's fat chance that'll work. <laughs> <laughs> having a great time all right back to let's switch the rules so one thing that i was thinking about like you saw i sent you that um wait now that i just mentioned hilly is always saying to us devon always says thinking about and it's that's my nomenclature i cannot not say that like i don't even notice it until he said i, I didn't even notice you just said it. when he said that i, I got i got me pissed because i'm like well what should i be saying um i was pondering like like i was thinking about this and here we are talking we about don't it. there's no this. other way we can fucking yeah i guess all right let's start again remember i sent you that video i do you sent it to me today oh was it today i thought it was yesterday no it oh. was it was today oh shit it Man, was like time flies a couple hours ago oh okay i literally thought that was yesterday i stay busy i do a lot okay well anyways that video really um so this video i sent you yes is about doodles but it's about their secondary thing that they've come out with now called space doodles that incorporates right. the original doodle that someone holds. So they air. Right, yeah. I don't know if they airdropped it or how they did it or if they had to it claim. Was, I think. Well, but you got space your space. Were airdro- you got a spaceship basically. Me. Yeah. And then what happens? So it's like a NFT wrapped by an NFT. So that yeah. the new spaceship's an NFT, and then it's wrapped with the smart contract. It, that's what I mean by wrapped. It's yeah. So it's your it's original doodle that you own now ends up being in the spaceship, and it's like flying around and animated, <laughs> which is actually pretty cool. Yeah. So they've Basically invented the, the like ready the guy player said, too. <laughs> yeah, exactly. What the guy said in the, the the video you sent me was that like they're not they're not reinventing the wheel. No. Or no, they are reinventing the wheel. It's what funny it, because he fucked it up. Yeah, in the he video fucked it up too. too which yeah, was awesome. And I remember when he fucked it up, I was like, what? But the concept is. The, the problem is the the smart contract incorporates them both. So people were selling their spaceship or their rocket yeah, that or was, whatever. That was the And the not problem. knowing that they sold their original. They thought they just sold the add-on, which was... The, the space doodle. Yeah, the space doodle and or the rocket or whatever. Yeah, they were thinking, hey, I'm going to sell my space uh, doodle, which was just a rocket. Yeah. But not realizing that once you're claiming it, I don't, I, I'm not in the project, once, so I don't know how it incorporated yeah, how it. it. Accepted it yeah. yeah, I guess you have to, ex- I would assume you I have to that, do. S- but that has to be an airdrop then, right? I guess, but I don't, I'm assuming to mm. get the contract wrapped within the contract. You must you, claim it. You have to claim or yeah. sign or accept or, yeah, yeah. I, I don't know. Regardless of the mechanics of it. It's a con- new, new concept. The concept is cool. Because you don't have to create a whole new project. You just add it on top of another project. Right. And here's the thing going for like with other projects going forward, either a dead project or even maybe this is how you revive a new dead project or not revive a new one, but like revive a dead yeah. project that's kind of just sitting stagnant. You can actually now create a smart contract to wrap up that smart contract and mm-hmm. you revive the the NFT to something right. like give it new utility, give it a new a new look, a new whatever, like, but you're still incorporating so that that NFT is not wasted in people's wallets. Nice. Well said, my friend. That's I, the way I look at it. That's exactly where I was going with it yeah. before I can. Conf- I love how th- the confusion that people saw. I was like, oh, I can't believe that happened to people. And I was like, this is great. We should talk about it. And then I got confused in my interpretation of it. Yes. Yeah, thank you, my friend. No I, problem. I, I appreciate I, that. Once you sent it to me, I kind of did a little, I went in and doodles you know so here's the con not controversy but here was the drama that ha- unfolded mm-hmm. doodles floor is like 10 and a half ETH, mm-hmm. which is a lot of money yeah so 
people th- got these space doodles and put them up for sale thinking oh i'll, send, <laughs> I'll sell the add-on like right. we we're talking about not realizing it's now incorporating the original doodle right. oh, yeah, so when the they go thing, to sell yeah. their space doodle and go back into their wallet and be like i just sold my space doodle for three eth yeah wait wait hold on where's my doodle and the doodle was gone and the too. <laughs> doodle was part of the package yeah that was the whole problem it's interesting too because now you can now you can create your own package within an like you could wrap a smart contract within a smart contract now, now you can like package stuff it's it, I'm, I'm really it's gonna be fun to see like where this either this project alone goes mm-hmm. Or, or just the other, concept. Yeah, because the I concept think, of other people adopting it and taking it on yeah. and going on with their own stuff. I think projects that incorporate that. It, everything's about additional value, continual utility, and yep. in, encouraging that community to keep keep going. And it's like this inherently builds it right in. And I think projects that incorporate some sort of, I don't know, evolving character then are just ones that are thinking a little bit differently and adopting a new way to interact. So. I I'd, I'd be leave it there. It'd, it'd be fun to see somewhere like say Adidas. Like you know how they did the board ape thing. Yeah. Well, like say what happens if they start selling their digital clothing. Yeah. And now the smart contract wraps into the board apes contract or mutant ape, whatever they partnered with. But now their board ape gets the Adidas shirt on. Right. Yeah. It just it just it shows just up in the wall. Shows All up. they gotta do is claim it. Yeah. yeah. That's pretty cool. It'd be kinda it's it's gonna be cool and then Yeah, selling the stuff would be like do you have to un like unclaim it from the con like it's just interesting how mm-hmm. I'm gonna it's gonna be fun to kind of this might be the next cool thing because it's kind of similar to what Remark was doing with the nested that's NFTs what I was thinking where you got earlier confused. on yeah, yeah nested NFTs um but here's the thing we never fully understood what Remark did because that was shit was super complicated yeah we're I'm like, still I trying still to don't sort know through. exactly what that but it's like an NFT can equip an NFT yeah and then unequip it change it with an nft and then re-equip it to the additional yeah and then th- all a different nft i think wrapped versus nested has a different kind of interaction where the the wrapped ha- wrapped is just a smart an- contract to it. it yeah, yeah but nested is is different yes. um i guess the only other thing is a project that i kind of saw i think you probably know them like world of cardano the fantasy metaverse nope this, you, are you sure? I, nope. thought, I thought we were, we were following them. Maybe I followed it. But they're like these little metaverse patches. Kind of looks like NFT worlds on it. It does. Yeah. Except, yeah, it does. It does. Is it a Minecraft they're world? Not, no, they're no? not as, um, they're not as like, it doesn't look like they're as detailed, but the mint's happening soon. I will oh. tell you that, not like, I think it's happening What's March What's the project 15th. about, Devon? Oh. <laughs> 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 but it's not, it's not, uh, <laughs> It's not. What's the other project? It's been. It's built on Unreal Engine five. So there you go. Oh, yeah. That's a yeah. That's actually gaming shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, but it looks cool though. I mean, NFT worlds is based on Minecraft. Like you, yeah. Those NFTs is everything's a NF a Minecraft world. But yeah, this one's not going to be as big. I don't know the exact dimensions of how big, but it's not. They're like tiny little plots, but they look cool. Minting March fifteenth, March fifteenth. Yeah, my nineteen hundred UTC. So there's I'll still be some. Off. Still some time to hop in that Discord. I don't know. It's the Are there white is there whitelist or all those roles is it still open or Oh available? yeah, it's still open. And it looks like I think the last thing I saw was that uh World of They've got like about 5 5000 members in their Discord. Send me an um, invite for that. Yeah, I, I will, my friend. I'll do some but I like I like the way I mean it's Unreal Engine, man. That shit's hardcore. So, I don't know. We'll see. Um, I don't have that much more information on it, but it seems like these little worlds will obviously can connect and it's going to be a play to earn metaverse. Do I know much more about it? I do not, but play to speaking of play to earn properties, yes, properties, properties, their NFT worlds coming out. They've implemented the contract for bricks. I know everyone was like, when's bricks, when's, when's bricks? bricks. Yeah. They were going, that's all they cared about. So NFT worlds opening soon. Um, Bricks has been the smart ca- contract's been deployed, so I think they're airdropping something to do with Polygon because they're doing it all on Polygon, mm. going away from Ethereum right now. Because thank geez. goodness. So uh, all the properties crew out there, it's coming. And NFT world, you'll be able to. I didn't realize this. So you when I think they're rewarding users for like every hour that you play, you get world token. Oh man, is this one going to be one of those? super comp complicated earning 
earning schemas and strategies like you remember like ice poker where it was like you you, you gotta wear something you to gotta play. wear something to play but then you you can make you can win in poker but the winnings in poker reset daily what you're really collecting is the ice and like so i don't think it's gonna be that complicated i guess it's well, there's gonna whatever be world setup but and, and bricks so at least those two are yeah i don't strategies. know if bricks is going to be incorporated into nft worlds because it might not be able to it's just the holders of the property yeah it's just the holders but All we right. can go in and play around on the five worlds that they own and i think for just going in and doing stuff you'll earn wor- uh, world token for playing but then there's also going to be in the nft w- properties nft world they're going to set up play to earn quests. So like you can go yeah. and do quests and stuff. And I think by completing those quests, you'll also earn world tokens there as well. So not all, so say the quest takes you yeah. two hours, you're getting the two hours of play time from world from them, but then you're also earning from properties. I think mm. don't quote me on it, but all I'm pretty good. sure all that's good. how that's it's cool. all work. It's like play to earn minder. There's a whole bunch of different earn to earn catchphrases now there's yeah. play to earn there's another one where it's like build to earn mint to earn, or uh, mine to earn like there's a bunch of different mine like, to earn always sounds dumb to me because it's like that's what you're doing that's what mining is but yeah. whatever but build to earn i did, did think was kind of cool i feel like if if i were i mean back in my back in my 20s <laughs> where i was like learning graphic design and whatnot i feel like i would just be if i were thinking of what skills to develop it would just be 3d artist and like voxel builder or something yeah building digital mansions and stuff like that and just assigning them to metaverses and selling hindsight's them. 2020 though. i know well i mean this didn't exist back then well. <laughs> but i mean like if i had the time now if i wanted to make the time not if i had the time either way ryan i think that's all i got a, I think this is the end <laughs> that's all i got not of the po- just of this episode not the podcast oh right thank you we're yes. still going we're strong. still we're still going strong we're still okay. friends right yeah we're still friends i love you but i'm I, i'm not responding to your to your love your your love advances okay well one day you'll <laughs> no you're in a cave <laughs> i'm gonna oh post God. it on our twitter <laughs> i totally you will, will be mine <laughs> <laughs> I totally will. We'll post that. We remember that that fun photo shoot we took last year. Apple pick, picking. Yep. Yeah, we should throw those photos up. <laughs> <laughs> we actually, you didn't give us to it. You have. Them. I have them on this computer. They're yeah. great. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's end the episode. Um, if you liked what you heard, uh, thanks for listening this long. Uh, shout out to some people. Um, who? Go ahead. No, you're the one that said it. You didn't even prompt. I didn't know you where you're going with this. Shout out to some to the, some regular peeps. Uh, Burns, Joe Burns, Burnsy, Joe, Hilly, Hilly Butler. Uh, yeah, Butler. Thanks for the beer as yep. well. Uh, DA Sales, S- DA Sales, SPK. And, there's everybody, man. And, yeah, yeah there's so you. many. Like four or five. Jeff. There's God. The yeah. F thirty five or podcast. Those guys. The are Tommies. Awesome. The, the Tommies, Tommies and the. The other guy. Oh my God! This <laughs> crypto boutique guy. This right, rich. We're, we're, we're good. Like, we're keep good. going. Yeah, yeah. We're good. All oh, you guys. Love okay. you guys. Cool. Love, it. Love you. F- Love the community. Yes, we do. All right, Come so- to Cardano, everyone. Yes, and uh, hop onto Apple. Give us a review, a like, and all that jazz. All right. Follow us on Twitter. All right. Add NFGs. Not- we are leaving. Devon, stop talking. Put the music on. Let's get out of here. <laughs> I gotta go to bed, man. Love you all. Smooches and kisses. I know they're the same. No, they're not.